Welcome friends and this is Ricky Chisambo. In today's video we want to revise this question uh, under linear programming. Write the three inequalities that define the unshaded region R. So we have region R which is unshaded. Now it is very important that we understand what we mean when we say inequalities. So inequalities we are saying that we are comparing two values or expression. So if at all we have two values uh, which is y or and x. So meaning that these are values that we can compare. So inequalities comes if at all these two values we are not sure if at all they are equal or they are not. So if they are not, then we are going to know by inequalities. Again, if at all they are equal, we are going to know by inequalities. So now this expression that we have here, you would find that will help us to understand if at all the values or the expression which is y or an x, they are what? They are equal. So now, it is very important that when you are dealing with inequality, you know that there is less, there is greater, and then there is less or equal to, also there is greater or equal to. So these two are used if at all we have a solid line. So a solid line. And then these two are used when you have a broken line or a dotted line. So now let us go quickly to the question. So write three inequalities that define the unshaded region R. So the shaded region, the unshaded region which is this. So now you'd find that we have three lines. Now let us label them so that it can be easy for us to answer them. So this one, it is the first one. And then let us see this to be our second. And then this one to be our uh, third line that you're going to deal with. So now, when you look at the lines here, you'd find that, for example, line 2, it is a broken line. It is not a solid line. So therefore, we're going to use less and then or we're going to use greater. But when it comes to solid lines, we're going to use uh, less or equal to or greater or equal to. Those are the uh, uh, expression that we're going to express in this uh, question. So let us begin with the, the simplest. So always you should start with number one, those that are in horizontal or vertical. Always start with those that are in horizontal or vertical. Those that are straight. For example, if at all we have this is the y-axis and then obviously we have the x-axis. Always you start with these that are like this. So you'd find that these that are like this will help you or they are very simple. So in this case we're going to start with number one. So to find the inequality we're going to go or we're going to move directly and look at the y-axis there. So now when you look at the y-axis what can you find uh, there? So you'd find that uh, the line is coming from 6 there. So we would say y, y is equal to 6. So this is not an equality. This is an equation. So now because we are dealing with inequalities, these two values or possibilities we are not sure if at all they are equal. So now, what are we going to say? So y is equal to 6. So you'd find that this area which is shaded, meaning that it is not needed. So this area, it is not, it is not needed. So because it is not needed, we we'll say y, y is less or equal to 6. Why have we said it is less or equal to 6? Because y 
and then our area of interest is below 6 so that is our area of interest we are not looking up, uh, at numbers that are exceeding 6 but those that are below at below 6 so meaning that this is our first uh, inequality that we've looked at which is the first one so let us look at the second one so the second the second inequality so the second inequality we've said that it is a, a broken line so in this case we're going to pick coordinates so remember we're going to pick coordinates so in this case we've been given coordinates where uh, line 3 and line 1 are meeting so you'd find that we have here number 1 which is 2,2 2, and obviously we have 6,6 6 there so we can write them here would say 6,6 6, and then also we have 2,2 2. so now here to find the inequality you'd find that we have two equations that we can use to find these inequalities so the first formula that we can use uh, there are two formulas so the first one is y minus y1 is equal to m open bracket x minus x1 so this is the first formula that you can use the second formula that you can use is y is equal to m x plus c so these are two formulas that you can use and you'd find that these two formulas if you use them they're going to give you a same answer so in this case uh, we can use the first one let us try to use this uh, formula so we would say y minus y1 is equal to m open bracket x minus x1 so now when you look at this uh, formula that we're going to use we cannot solve or we cannot find the inequality unless we find the gradient so how do we find the gradient so we know that the formula for finding the gradient is m is equal to so m is equal to so y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 so this is the formula that we can use to find the uh, the gradient so in this case we can substitute we can substitute and say this is so we have x1 and then we have y1 there then we have x2 then we have y2 there so we can substitute and say where is y1 that is 6 minus y2 that is 2 over x1 that is 6 minus 2 so in this case in this case what 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 do we have so you'd find that so you'd find that we we are going to say Uh, 6 minus 2 that is 4 over 4 so obviously 4 into 4 that is 1 so our m is 1 so our gradient in that case it is what it is 1 therefore where there is m we're going to substitute with a 1 so now here we're going to say y minus where there is y1 we're going to say 6 is equal to m1 and then open bracket x you maintain and then negative x1 where is it? okay so we have six there so you close and then you multiply everything with one or you you multiply what is in the bracket with one there so we're going to say y minus six is equal to so one times x that is x 1 times negative 6 that is negative 6 so now when you reach there you'd say y so you'd say y is equal to 
So x minus 6 plus 6. So now when you look at this, you'd find that 6, negative 6 plus 6, these are like them, so they are going to work themselves out. So we'd say y is equal to what? Is equal to x. Because negative 6 plus 6, it is different signs, you subtract, and then in this case you're going to have a 0. So you're going to say y is equal to x. Now because we are dealing with inequalities, because you are dealing with what? inequalities this is a, a dotted line or a broken line therefore we are going to use these two uh, signs so in this case let us look at the area which is not needed so this is the area which is not what which is not needed so now the area which is needed it is the y the y it is the area which is needed so in this case we're going to say y is greater than what than 6 so y is greater than than uh, x sorry so meaning that this is our answer if at all you want to use the second formula this formula so you would say y is equal to m and then x plus c so in this case you're going to say y is equal to so where there is m we had to find the gradient which is one there and then you're going to say uh one and then x and then c which is the constant now when you look at c c it is the uh, the highest the highest point at which the line crosses the y-axis which is known as the y-intercept so at this point you'd find that this is where now y uh, which is the highest so in this case where does this line passes through so we have a zero there so meaning where there is c we're going to substitute and put a zero there so y is equal to when you multiply one times x you're going to have x there and then plus what plus zero so in this case you're going to say y is equal to x so y is greater than x so you can use if at all you want to use this formula or you use this formula so you find that this is our second so let us move to the third inequality so the third inequality so that we 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 get to to know the inequality that we're going to uh, look at so the third inequality so you'd find that linear pro uh, programming it is one of the most important topics that you have to master or that you have to know so if at all you want online lessons or to understand more you can follow me on facebook that is Ricky Sambo or on YouTube. So you're going to find a lot of uh, videos that can help you in different subjects. So we want to look at now the third inequality. So the third inequality, we are saying that um, we're going to pick the coordinates. So in this case, that is uh, 0, 6 and then the other inequality that we can pick there the other inequality that you can pick if at all you want you can pick uh, 2 comma 2 or if at all you want you can pick 3 uh, 3 comma 0 here so if at all you want to pick you can pick this or you want to pick you can pick this so in this case let us just pick uh, the coordinates from 3 so we would say 0 uh, 3 sorry 3 uh, 3 so 3 comma 0 so those are the coordinates that we've picked so those are the coordinates that we've picked so we would say uh, this is x1 and then we have y1 then we have x2 and then we have y2 there so now when you look at this you find that the formula that we can use is y 
minus y1 is equal to m open bracket x minus x1 you close so to find the gradient to find the gradient we're going to say m is equal to so y1 minus y2 over x1 minus uh, x2 so in this case we're going to substitute where is x uh, y1 so y1 that is 0 minus y2 that is 6 over we're going to say x1 where is our x1 so x1 it is 3 there and then our x2 that is 0 so when you look at this 0 minus 6 we're going to have uh, negative 6 over 3 so to find our gradient 3 into negative 6 that is negative 2 so negative 2 is the gradient in this case so let us go to the equation now so we're going to say y minus where there is y1 we're going to substitute and put a, a 0 there and then we're going to move and say negative 2 open bracket then where there is x you're going to maintain just and then what is our x1 our x1 it is 3 there so negative 3 so in this case you're going to say uh, you multiply negative 2 with everything which is in the brackets so we have negative 2 times uh, x we're going to have negative 2 x and then negative times negative we're going to have positive so we're going to have positive 6 there so in this case you're going to uh, say here it is y just is equal to negative negative 2 x plus 6 so in this case we're going to say we're going to collect the like terms where we have let us so would say y and then ne this two negative two x will cross the equal sign and will come this side so it will be a positive so positive two x is equal to what is equal to six so in this case do we have anything to work on no we don't have now this is an equation but we want to find the inequality so we're going to look at the line is it a solid or a dotted line no it is a solid line so we're going to use greater than or equal to or we're going to use less than or equal to so in this case we're going to say y plus 2x now before you put the uh the symbol there you have to know which area is not needed in this case so we have this is unshaded uh, this is shaded so meaning that this is the area that we are not interested in and then this is the area that we are interested in so we would say that 6 is greater okay so 6 is greater and then this area is what is less so this area it is less than what than 6 here because 6 it is the highest variable which has been given here so meaning that it is less so would say y plus 2x is greater or equal to what to 6 okay so because this is the area that we are looking for so this is the area that we are looking for the area which is what greater so this is an equality that we've looked at Thank you very much for watching this video.